Singapore swept the top awards at the recent 10th Shell Eco Marathon Asia, the, and that was held in Kuala Lumpur. The competition saw students from all around Asia design and build ultra energy efficient cars and then race to see which one can travel the furthest on one litre of fuel. So Nanyang Technological University's team topped the urban concept hydrogen category, setting a competition record of 94 kilometres per cubic metre. The team also won the Drivers' World Championship qualifiers in a close finish, the first time ever for a Singapore team. And for more, we're joined by the team's manager, Palaniapan Arunachalam, and mechanical lead, uh, Felix Yong Tingrui. Thanks, you guys, for coming in. Arun, tell us firstly about the design of the car, which I understand has a bit of a, an inspired by an insect, if it is that Yes, right? correct. It's the beetle. Mm. So I would like to first start off saying that uh, hydrogen, when you talk about... Uh, Shell Eco Marathon, mm. uh, their prime uh, importance is about efficiency. Mm. And uh, uh, efficient, when, I say, when I say efficiency, meaning like uh, how far could our car could travel within the least amount of hydrogen use. Mm. So for that, we started to look for inspirations from uh, Mother Nature itself. Mm. Like the birds and the uh, insects, they tend to have uh, naturally built aerodynamics. And uh, therefore, we actually focus on this uh, beetle. And that's how our uh, unique design for our bubble roof came about. And uh, we believe that was one of the reasons for us to um, win the design award in Shalika Marathon Asia. Mm. Okay. So, what's, so that is the physical structure we just saw there um, yeah. of the car, right? But you also have uh, the materials that you brought in of the car. Why don't you tell us a little bit about you know, the material that you have in front of you? All right. So... Um, no. Uh, Okay, so who wants to go first? Okay, Felix, why don't <laughs> yeah, you go first? Yeah, so maybe okay. I'll go first talk sure. about this too. Okay. Right. So what I have here is the hydrogen fuel cell. And we can think of this as like the power supply for the vehicle itself. So what it does is it takes in hydrogen gas as the fuel, and as, as well as oxygen from the air around us. And what it does is it produces the electricity that powers the vehicle. Yes. So from here, it actually produces this en electrical energy, and it's used to charge this up. So this is the super capacitor. It's like a battery that stores the electricity that is generated from our hydrogen fuel cell and it powers the motor of our vehicle. Now, is an management. I would imagine that one of the most important things when it comes to being efficient mm -hmm. uh, is the weight of the vehicle because that's going to play an important part in, yes, of in course. how efficient it can be. Uh, mm -hmm. So tell us a bit about the materials of the rest of the, of the vehicle that you were making. Okay, uh, I would like to start off with the biggest part of the car, which is the chassis. Or in other words, the structure of the car mm -hmm. is actually uh, it's a big effort to design this structure. And at this point of time, I would like to thank my uh, previous NV10 members or Nanyang Venture 10 members for taking in a lot of effort to design that chassis, mm -hmm. like the choice of the material they use, which is the Kevlar carbon hybrid, uh, hybrid material. Mm. And uh, it actually contributed a lot in the strength, uh, strength weight ratio. And another in interesting point that uh, I would point out is the, uh, that this uh, Kevlar materials are used in uh, making bulletproof vests. And uh, <clears throat> why I'm pointing out this is because this uh, actually improves the impact resistance of the car. Like, because in Shalico Marathon, uh, most of the cars are traveling at an average speed about 25, 30 kilometers. And uh, if there's going to be any collisions, right, that could be actually um, uh, damaging. So we needed a structure that could actually withstand such uh, impacts. Therefore, we choose uh, Kevlar carbon fiber and there are other uh, as well. Yeah. Okay, well, we understand that, you know, as a team, you guys worked, uh, were very, very coordinated for this race. How did you all manage to practice, you know, and what were some of the other challenges that, you know, you faced and, you know, how did you guys overcome that? Mm. So, for this competition itself, we did not actually intentionally practice to, like, get our teamwork or coordination, but rather in the months leading up to the competition itself, we have been trying very hard to, like, improve the performance of our vehicle. And during the process, we have organized like weekly practice sessions uh, by using the test, by connecting test runs in the lab at, at around our car park, around the lab. So from there, our team actually learned how to um, like perform their tasks as well as to get more familiar about the car itself so that they can prepare for the actual race itself. What were some of the challenges that you, know, you guys um, had to overcome then? All right. So I think the, one of the biggest challenges that we had to face was to strike a balance between our, our academics as well as the competition itself. Mm. Because um, the competition itself requires a lot of time to prepare. And 
our team members had to come in early in the day and they often stayed till very late at night in the lab just to tweak the performance of the car and to get it to the current performance that it can achieve. So from here, we actually learned to, we still have to, um, yeah. You still have to juggle you yes. know, your, the competition as well as your studies. But, you know, thank you so much for coming in. Congratulations. We also understand that, you know, you're also going to be uh, facing off against the best in the urban concept teams uh, in the uh, Drivers' World Championship in London. Good luck on that as well. Thank you very thank much you. for coming yeah. in and speaking to us. We've been speaking to Palanaypan Arun Chalam and Felix Young from NTU.